Uh, next question is from Travis. Travis says, hello. Hey, Travis. I downloaded and installed Samba Doc PDF from Synaptic Package Manager in Ubuntu 8.10. I can't find the PDF file. Where is it, and how do I find it? From Travis. Interesting. Hmm. This is so multitasking. What is he talking about there? He's installed an application. Uh, this is Samba-Doc-PDF. It's not actually a program. I'll show you. Um, Samba like the dance? Dan, dan, no, Samba like the oh, SMB Samba. protocol. Oh. So I'll actually show you. Leave that up just so that I don't get sure. lost, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Rather than just giving you the answer to the question, where are those found, um, and anybody who's been using Linux for a while probably knows the answer right off the bat and can type it in the chat room, but I'll actually show you how to find that. First of all, let's look at the uh, item that he's installed. Pardon me, just go into Synaptic Package Manager. <coughs> okay. So this is like the, the manual, basically. So samba-doc-pdf. So there it is. So he's just gone and installed this. And if you read the description, all this is is the Samba document documentation in PDF format. But these kind of things can be weird because when you install them, it's like, well, it says that it installed, but where on earth did it go? Oh, okay. And if you don't know where it's putting it, it doesn't put links on your, on your menu. It doesn't do anything um, other than say that it's installed. So how do you find those things, right? Mm -hmm. So with this particular one, and you can use this method uh, with any application that's available in the repositories on Ubuntu, uh, just go over to packages.ubuntu.com. So when you get there, so it's just packages.ubuntu.com. Just scroll down. The easiest way is just to go into the keyword search here and just type in samba-doc-pdf. Just search for that package. This is actually going to give you the package information. There it is for Intrepid. So just click on that. And then you'll see the information about what this is. But then you'll see over here, files, and you'll see list of files. And that's what we're really interested in. So when you click on that, it actually shows you the files that this is going to put on your computer. And of course, in this case, because we're looking for the PDF file, we can see that that's putting that in slash user, slash share, slash doc, dash base, slash samba by example.pdf, or something along those lines. Or it's actually going to create all these GZ files, too. Sorry, that's not a dot PDF. Um, but that's a folder. And then in that folder, you've got all these GZ files, which are basically the equivalent of like a zip file if you're coming from Windows. Uh, it's a compressed uh, archive file. There's, there could be multiple files within that file. So you can open that file with, uh, like you can browse to that folder and open it with just double clicking on it. That will bring it up in File Roller, which is like a decompressor uh, that you can actually open the files that are contained within. Um, Popey in the chat room says, Robbie, another way to do this is on the command line execute dpkg-l samba-doc, and it will list mm. all files installed by the Samba doc package. A DPKG is, is the application that, um, that installs those Debian packages. So yeah, that's, that's a, another way. If you want to use the command line, that will just give you that list like Popey's saying. Thanks for that, Popey. So if you want to try playing around with the command line, that's another very easy way as well. Try both of them. And uh, that would work. That's probably a better way if it's not from a repository that's on the Ubuntu site. Because we're just looking at something, like in this particular case, it's coming from an Ubuntu repository. So it is available in that list online at packages.ubuntu.com. In a case where you've installed it from another repository, a third-party repository, say, then Popey's uh, suggestion would work better for you as well. Cool. Okay. Thanks for your question. Thanks for watching.